Hello, this is Dr. Patrick Henry. Today I'd like to show how to use 3D foil and multi-surface aerodynamics to analyze a sail for a boat. First I click the design or menu to bring up the surfaces for editing. I start with surface number one and I want to make this the jib section of the sail. So double click on the surface this will give me the edit surface um, dialog box where I could enter the information for the jib and I want to have a span of 4.8 meters for the jib um, I want a left cord that's the side closest to the deck uh, of 1.5 meters and I want the top of the sail which will be the right cord to be very small so 0 0.05 meters um, I want the set of sweep angle about the um, trailing edge so zero sweep about the trailing edge and the trailing edge is that 100% cord I want to have an X resolution of 16 and the Y resolution of 16. Next, I looked at the airfoil sections. Because I'm doing a sale, we want to have very thin airfoils. So I make it 1% on the right airfoil and also 1% on the left airfoil. So this gives us um, our sail shape for the, for the jib. The next step is to model the main sail. To do that, we can double click on the design, the surface editor, and this will pop up surface number two, which we can edit. Um, we set the size of the span, the length of the span, which is 6.7 meters. The left cord is the side, of course, closest to the deck, and that is 2.6 meters. And the right cord is uh, 0 0.05 meters, so very small. Then we set the sweep angle to zero, and this time we sweep it about the leading edge, and the leading edge is 0% cord. So now we want to set the resolution, the X resolution, to 16, as with the jib. And the right resolution, um, the Y resolution, we keep at 16. The left airfoil we make very thin again, 1%. And the same thing for the right. So we have the for the left, 1%. The right, 1%. And then we can view the sail, and we can see we now have the main sail. We can drag it closer, or we can set the exact dimensions from the editor. So this gives us um, the design for the jib and the main sail. And then we could change them a little bit, which I'll do next. Now that I have surface one and two, what I want to do is to group them so they can move as a unit. So I click um, groups. I add surface one and surface two to group number one and then I can move them around as a unit and the next step I want to do in the simulation is to add is to model the deck to model the deck I click the flow button and then I click mirror slash ground effect I'm setting a mirror image at y equal to zero and that would model the deck the height about the deck, uh, it, you could set depending on your design, but I'm just going to leave it as is. Now that we have the main sail, the jib, and we have modeled the deck, I would now like to click the flow button so we can add the, the flow field and the apparent wind. The angle of attack in this case we'll, we'll set the apparent wind and I want to set it to 10 
degree angle of attack and the speed of 80, sorry, of 8 um, miles per hour. Fluid type will leave us air. And then that's it. We click OK and we can look at some results. Click the report, click the force moment results, and this will give us an indication of the type of forces we are getting from our configuration. Here we see that we have a lift force of 12.94 pounds and a drag force of 6.63 pounds from the current configuration. With those results we can continue and we can model we can modify the sail configuration a little. But before we do that I would like to click the group button and then lock the sails in place. So if I drag it it would not um, change its location. So looking at the jib I want to um, orient it at a slight angle, for example, the left um, corner, I would like to make it um, a, a 10 degree, uh, sorry, a minus 10 degree angle, so that it will have a twist. That, that way, when we look at the sail in 3D, we see that we have a twist on the jib and that twist is in the direction of the wind. So we can do that to change that shape. What we can also do for, for the jib is to make, instead of a flat left airfoil, we can give it some curvature. And the way we can do that is to say, look at, a, let's say for this case, look at a NACA double O double one airfoil so it's a very thin airfoil shape and then we can modify the camber on that shape a little bit by clicking on it so we could have we could have a relatively interesting sail shape for this case and we can then look at the results again and see what we have and here we have, we have, in this case, we have a smaller lift force, slightly smaller lift force um, coming from the jib and the main sail. To see the contribution from each sail, we click the report menu, click the individual surface table, and then here we'll have the results for surface one and surface two. Surface 1 is the jib, surface 2 is the main sail, we can look at the lift, we can look at the induced drag coefficient, and we can look at the total drag coefficient. More information can be found at HanleyInnovations.com. This is Dr. Patrick Hanley at Hanley Innovations.